For these questions, we're going to list the factors. A factor is just a number that's multiplied by another number. So in this number sentence, you can see that the factors are two and four because they're being multiplied and the product is eight. So for these questions, we're going to list the factors. So basically, they've given us the products and they want us to list anything that could be multiplied together to make 18. So we're going to use a strategy called the factor meetup, and this is how it works. You start by writing the numbers 1 through 18 down. These are the only numbers that can be a factor of 18. Nothing past 18 can... These are the only numbers that could be a factor of 18. So for the factor strategy meetup, we start with number one and we ask ourselves, can one be multiplied by something to make 18? If the answer is yes, you circle it. And then you ask yourself, well, which of these numbers could I multiply by one to get 18? And the answer is, 18. So 1 and 18 are the first factors. In fact, every single number has 1 and that number as its first factors. So then you go to number 2 and you ask yourself, is there a number out of this list that I can multiply by 2 to get 18? And there is, so I'm going to circle it because 2 times 9 equals 18. So do you see how you had an underline here and now your underline has inched up to here? That means that none of these numbers can be a factor anymore. So when you're asking yourself, can I multiply a number by any of the other numbers? You don't even have to think about these ones. So let's go to number three and you ask yourself, can three times any of the numbers that are left equal 18? And the answer is yes, three times six. So now our underline has inched up to the six, leaving seven and eight no longer available to be a factor. Okay, and then we go back to four and we ask ourselves: can four times any of the numbers that are left, which is only five, be a factor? And no, it can't. So you move on to five and you say, can five be multiplied by any of the numbers that are left to equal 18? And again, it's no. And we finally had our factor meet up. We met up with one of our underlying digits. As soon as that happens, you know you're finished and that the factors are anything you circled or underlined. So the factors of 18 are one, two, three, six, nine, and 18. So let's look at number two where we have to find the factors of 12. So the first step of the strategy is just to write out your numbers one through 12. These can be the only numbers that can be factors of 12. So we start with one and circle it because we know one will always go with the last number. And then we move on to number two. And we ask ourselves, can I multiply two by any of the other numbers left to get 12? And I see, yep, I can multiply two by six. And now my underline has inched up, and so it leaves all of these ones no longer available to be factors. So now let's go to number three and ask yourself, can I multiply three by something to get 12? Well, there's only a couple of choices left. I can either multiply 3 by 3 again, or 3 by 4, or 3 by 5. So I can see that if I multiply 3 by 4, that equals 12. And now I have met up with my underlying digits, and so I know I'm done. So the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Okay, we're gonna do number 16. So I've written the numbers one through 16 down, and I know that one and 16 are gonna be my first factors. 
So now I'm going to go to number 2 and ask myself, can I multiply 2 by any of these numbers to get 16? And I can. I can do 2 times 8. Well, my underline has inched up, and it's left all of these ones gone now. None of these can be factors. So let's move on to number 3. Can I multiply 3 by something to get 16? Well, the only thing left are 4, 5, 6, and 7, and 3. So there's nothing left. So I'm going to skip it and go to 4 and ask myself, can I multiply 4 by anything to get 16? And yes, I can. I can do 4 times 4 to make 16. So now I know that I'm finished because I've had my factor meet up, my circles have met up with my underlines, and I'm done. So the factors of 16 are 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. All right, you try it, and if you need any more help, you can come rewatch the video. Good luck!